Hi, this is Suzanne with Ideas 360, and you're at Ideas 360 in 360 seconds. Today, we're going to talk about adapting to a virtual sales funnel. What does that mean? We all know we're working virtually. We know salespeople are working virtually. Your marketing team's working virtually. But what about a virtual sales funnel? Let me explain what I mean. I've got a client that's in the retail sector, typically relies on a lot of foot traffic into their store. And how we adapt the virtual sales funnel is by preparing a product or service that is no longer required to be utilized or purchased inside the store. And that now is something that can be taken home and used as for a whole different experience. That is adapting the virtual sales funnel. So how are you doing that in your organization? What product or service do you have that would be more accommodating, solve a pain point, or provide a better solution now that we're in a virtual environment. This is a key strategy because a lot of folks right now are still selling the way that they've always sold. So adapting that sales funnel and determining and, and having a brainstorming session to figure out what is it we can do differently now that we're in this environment and how can we engage customers in a different way than what we're accustomed to. So that's the number one key to adapting a virtual sales funnel. The second thing is we obviously have to look at our teams. Our salespeople are out, they're in their homes, they're working virtually. How do we keep them engaged? I'm always a big fan of daily huddles and I talk about that all the time. But here's the key. While you and your sales team are trying to figure out new ways to create sales or new ways to engage with customers, uh, adapt to this virtual sales funnel, the, the real question is, are you bringing marketing into that loop? Because now that we're adapting our sales strategy, a lot of times marketing is left out of, that, out of that equation. And so what happens is marketing just continues to do what they've done. They continue to funnel people in to the sales funnel and they don't realize that the sales team has created a different strategy or different approach. So the second tip here is to bring marketing into those huddles. If you're having a daily huddle, maybe you bring marketing in once a week to listen in. When they understand the struggles that the salespeople are facing, when they understand the real um, challenges and the objections that they're hearing, they can start to create, craft and create either a different type of marketing strategy or a different way to get people into that sales funnel. Remember, your marketing is at the top of the sales funnel and marketing now pushes those people down the sales funnel at some point handing them off to sales and you want that handoff point to be a really smooth natural transition because that ultimately leads to more conversions and more closed business the final thing is make sure that both your sales team and your marketing team understand who the ideal client is i've got a checklist you can download on my website specifically talking about the virtual sales funnel and the ideal target client. Both of those tools will be great for you, your team, your sales and marketing teams to review together. Make sure everybody's on the same page. The one last thing I wanna to touch on is communication. In a virtual sales environment, if you're relying or your team's relying on email communication or social media communication, you're gonna to have to break them of that habit. Use Zoom, use Google Meet, to cre recreate that engagement that salespeople rely on. Remember, we wanna see body language, we wanna create relationships, and we have to do that with eye-to-eye -eye contact. The other thing is your marketing team may be able to help. Maybe your sales team can create quick 60-second clips that they can push out once a week to talk about how they're helping clients solve problems. That's so engaging, and it helps your clients understand how you can be a big resource to them. Download the checklist and stay tuned for the next Ideas 360 in 360 seconds. Thanks.